Hi, my name is Dan Fleming from Dan's Mark Software Solutions. This is a program that I'm going to show you that I use my drawing to list converter to create. So basically my drawing to list converter converts drawing entities, AutoCAD drawing entities, into programming code. So DWG to .LSP converter. It's my proprietary software. I invented it. <clears throat> it does a pretty good job. We're going to look at the drawing that I used to convert. This is the drawing I used to convert it, minus a couple of entities right here. Maybe that one, that one, just to show me where, you know, some points were at. <clears throat> um, in fact, I'll just go ahead and save it to that. So, so basically, I converted this whole drawing over into programming code. Now, to do that, I first you know, I programmed the, uh, converted the frame, and then I converted the entities for the, um, the louver, and then I converted the uh, dimensions, and then I converted the text along with those dimensions, and then I converted the callout for the elevation, uh, this green text, which is a callout to tell you what what that drawing is actually is, and this is for a frame, you know, whatever it might be, that's changed it, that, that you have to change manually. <clears throat> and uh, it shows uh, what detail to look at right there to find out what's going on in that area. So there's detail one. So basically, it's doing the outer frame, it's descripting the frame and the different components. Uh, there, detail number two goes into a little more depth, the spacing, the angles, uh, what parts are what. Uh, <clears throat> shows you a uh, little bit about the welding of that part. And then uh, the side view, basically it lays out, uh, draws this whole thing from, from scratch. And... Uh, <clears throat> The side view is basically the same spacing and degree as it would be in the dialog. So if you change it there, it's going to change it here. If it doesn't work here, you know that you, you, you it's not going to work over there. And then the uh, the screen itself, which is the frame all the way around, and also to let you know these these letters right here: A, B, C so on and so forth, D, E, F, G, H. These correspond to parts up here. Part A, and this is the descriptor of the part. Uh, this is the length of the part in feet and inches. This is telling you what the part's used for. And this is the quantity of parts. In other words, let's say uh, we use six, uh, for instance. So it would take six times whatever this number is to equal that number. And that's the theme that it carries on through. Uh, <clears throat> the plan view, it draws out based on the X, Y uh, factors of all the parts and the length of the frame and depth of the frame by its, of itself. Uh, it calls out the part here for left and right frame mount. Uh, you can put it on top and bottom too. So <clears throat> it does a pretty good job. Now let's go ahead and close that. And we're going to open up the drawing itself. Now, this is the dialog that I created. It didn't take me long. Uh, probably less than, uh, less than four or five hours I had this dialog done and, and had it uh, pretty well uh, up, updating the uh, drawings that we're going to be looking at. Anyway, this is a, tells you a little bit about it. This is the X, this is the Y, and the thickness. Now, the X is the left and right. Y is vertical. So horizontal, X, Y vertical. And that's pretty close to the theme that it carries out. Except for the top and bottom frame. Now X and frame depends on which way the frame is. You know, whether it's straight up and down or, you know, or horizontally. So the X is always the depth in the frame. And the Y is the vertical. And then, of course, the thickness is how thick that material is. And uh, same thing with the left frame, 
the left and right frame, top and bottom frames the same. Uh, the screen is a flat bar. It's a half inch by eighth flat bar, and it can be mitered or not. Depends on what you pick here. This blade is going to be a two inch blade. It's going to be a quarter of an inch thick. It's going to be 1.6 eight spacing and the angle is going to be 60.50 then you have the angle mount which mounts this to whatever it is that you're fastening to whether it be wood masonry or steel so it'd be an L one by one by one eighth this is the quantity that you want to show up in your title block and par is for a company that I I draw for one of the one of the companies I draw for and if I pick part, it'll put his title block in there. Now, we're going to look at the image itself. Now, the image is an isometric view of a louver. If you pick it, now it becomes another type of louver. Same type of louver, louver except now it has a, a frame in the middle of it separating the two side pieces. So it has a different look. So we're going to go ahead and draw this one. And then we'll go ahead and open up the the program pick the other one and draw the next one and look at the similarities now it put the center post in the middle of it and separated the louvers the actual louver blades and you know done the isometric and updated the bill of material and everything so you have an accurate drawing every time there's a lot of, uh, of calculations going on to make this happen. You can imagine this times this equals times this equals times that times that. You can start to get the picture of a, then, then do another different type of how many variables there are in drawing something like this. So let's do a quantity of 22 just for instance. And now we have 22 times 50 is 1,100 parts. 22 times 42 is 924 parts. So it gives you a good, uh, accurate drawing that you can put in the shop and quickly, once your people in the shop uh, associate themselves with this drawing, they can spit these out. Uh, based on these numbers very very quickly only at dansmark.com like I say my drawing to list converter is a program I use to convert the drawing entities into programming code add a little bit of variables to the programming and now it becomes a complete parametric mathematical drawing des design machine so if you need any um, any drawings converted into programming code, then by all means, get in touch with Dan at dansmark.com. Thanks.